Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to talk about recording your presentations and an alternative to the last video. And basically, we're talking about doing a screen recording, except you're going to run your presentation on your screen. And the advantage to doing this is, and we're going to slide the recorder off to the right, is that it makes it very easy for us to bring up a browser, like we're doing right now, and then to record onto this browser, you know, just like we're doing right here on screen. We can close out the browser. We can bring back a browser. Very easy and very convenient to do. A little more clunky and a little more difficult to do with the other method. Now, the other thing is going to be that this method of recording actually works best if you have at least two screens. First, that you'd be able to, again, slide your recording toolbar off to the right and to be able to watch it in terms of the timing. And then also for you to be able to see your PowerPoint presentation progress. And so we'll show you what we mean by that. Now we click slideshow and we start the slideshow from the beginning. What's going to happen is this is going to be your recording screen, the one that you're going to see right in front of you. However, there is another screen that PowerPoint actually brings before you, and it is the information screen. What we're going to do is we are going to swap the presenter view and the slideshow. So now you can see that view. And in fact, this is the screen that you should have away from your recording screen, but it actually tracks where you are in your presentation. You can actually advance the slides in this part of your presentation. Now you can also advance the slides in the other form. And if we want to switch those slides, we go to display settings and we swap the presenter and slideshow view. That brings us back to this screen. And what we'll need to do in order to advance our slides is we are going to just make sure that we have tapped into this screen once. And then what we can do is we can use the arrow keys. We can use the page up or page down key. We can use any of these keys that we want in order to keep from having to use the mouse to approach the screen so that our cursor appears there. So once again, the real benefit of using this way, the screen sharing, is that we have got to bring any application on. It's very easy to do using this method. Okay, now there is a slight variation when we are actually recording. And if we're going to record, we are going to want to use the markers that we are actually given. So for example, we might record, I'm going to get rid of this, and so our recording starts. So in order to show you this, we're going to bring our recording toolbar. Now again, remember that one of the things that we can do is we can use a marker, right? So when we scroll to the point at which our slide changes, we can ensure a marker. And we can do this again. When our slide changes, we can issue a marker. When our slide changes, we can issue a marker. And those markers are going to appear on our timeline when we get ready to do our edit. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to stop this video and allow it to be placed into our media bin. So we click stop. And you'll see our markers here. Where each slide actually changes. And that should be the case in our timeline. Right now the timing isn't going to be exact. But it will be present. If we've got to go back and edit based on those slides, we can do that. So again, all we're really doing when we record a slide presentation in this way is that we are actually doing a screen recording, except that we are actually running our PowerPoint presentation on our screen. So we're going to switch the display settings again so that you can see one aspect 
of actually doing a PowerPoint presentation. Now remember, this is going to be off screen if you're using at least two screens, which is highly recommended if you're going to do a PowerPoint presentation video. One of the reasons why is that let's say that you have to skip ahead and you decide that what you want to do is you want to use another one of these slides. Well, you can do that and you can actually have it so that this will be the next point in your presentation. So if we switch back to the presentation view, you'll notice that that, that slide is now showing. So let's switch those display settings back so you can see that again. We go to this see all slides and again this you're not what you would not be watching this if you have two screens this will be off to the side we can switch this and then we can just switch back to the presenter view okay so that's it with our alternative for creating PowerPoint presentations and with that thanks and I will see you in another video